A standard data structure in computer science is the associate of array which is also called a map. In Python, this structure is called dictionary. Dictionaries are used when you have key value pairs of data and input which is mapped with output. These are two linked values where the key is a unique identifier where we can find our data and the value is that data. Dictionary is a very useful data type when dealing with the data which has key value pairs. In this video I am gonna show you how to use dictionaries in Python. You can think of a dictionary in Python as a sort of like a lookup table. Just as an example, let's say you have this table of information. This table indicates that Krish is 35 years old, Rajat is 32 years old and Monty is 28 years old or in general there is a value of 35 with the key Krish the string and the value that's associated with the key Rajat the string is 32. These are sometimes called key value pairs because we have a bunch of keys and a value associated with each of the keys and you can use a dictionary to store this kind of information. Let's see how we can do that in Python code. To create a new dictionary you can write the following d equals curly brackets. I'm going to run this cell. This defines a new dictionary that's empty. It doesn't have any keys or values and it assigns that dictionary to the new variable d. Another way to write the same thing is to write d equals dict parenthesis and it would do exactly the same thing. Here this dict is a python reserve word. You can see here it also created an empty dictionary. Let's go with the curly brackets for now and actually you could also write this so that it has some predefined keys and values as well. Let's go for the first one for now to define an empty dictionary. After defining an empty dictionary you can add a key value pair like d square brackets double quotes Krish equals 35. This is add a new key value pair where the key is Krish and the value is 35. We will see the output by printing the value of D. Let's run the code. We can see the key value pair Krish with the value 35 is added to the dictionary D. We can add more pairs by writing for example D equals square bracket double quotes Rajat equals 34 and D square brackets double quotes Monty equals 28 and now this dictionary has three key value pairs and to find the values that associate with a certain key for example Krish you can just write print D square bracket Krish when I run this code this will print the value that's associated with the key Krish that is 35 and now of course if you want to print out the values that associated with the key Rajat you can just write print D square bracket Rajat and it will print out 34 and if you try to look up a key that doesn't exist yet it's gonna give error for example if you do D square bracket ln let's print this value it gives us this key error because the key ln doesn't exist as we saw the key that's associated with Monty 
was 28 but it is possible to change the value that's associated with a certain key after we already have that key value pair in the dictionary we can do that just like before d square bracket monty equals 22 and once we run this cell now the value associated with monty is 22 one thing to note here is that the value can be any type but the keys can only be certain types and there are different types we can use for that but most commonly keys are strings or numbers and in python you can even mix different types of keys let's check the value of d let's run this to print the value associated with the key monty you can see the value has changed to 22 from the previous value 28. In part 1, we have learned that dictionary is a very useful data type when dealing with data which has key value pairs. We have seen some data in tabular form with two columns, name and age. We can represent this data using dictionaries as we have seen in the previous video. We have also seen how to create dictionaries in Python, inserting items in a dictionary, updating the value corresponding to any key, and appending the values inside a Python dictionary. Imagine if we have more than two columns, we can conveniently represent them using dictionaries. For example, if we have another column which is weight, with the existing two columns name and age we can represent this data in the dictionary as well in this case we have to make use of nested dictionary let me show you how to represent this data which has more than two columns inside a dictionary i will take the dictionary my dict in between the curly braces we put the key which is the name and in place of value I will have the nested dictionary. In this value, we have a dictionary which has again key value pairs. Now I will put the remaining sets of key value pairs. To check the dictionary value, I will execute this block of code. We have conveniently defined the data in the dictionary which has more than two columns. You can represent the same data in different ways using dictionaries. In the dictionary, keys should be unique. If you don't write unique keys in your dictionary, they are going to be lost. Repeating key will result the latest key value pair to be exist in case of duplicate keys. Here I'm creating a dictionary dict and taking some string keys and numeric values. And now I'm repeating the key A with the value to see the result I am executing this code dict you can see here that the latest key from the dictionary is exist with the value 4 it was overridden the previous key which has value 1 here we can see only a single key rather than having duplicate keys in python dictionaries keys are case sensitive for example I am taking dictionary D with the key A and corresponding value 1, the key B with value 2, the key C with the corresponding value 3 and now I am taking the key A with the value 5. Let's run this to see whether the small a and capital A both are different keys. Let's run this code to see whether these both A's are same or treated different. You can see here both the keys A are exist here. That means it is treating this A as a key with value 5 and the small A with the value 1 as different keys. So we can say 
that keys are case sensitive in python dictionary in python dictionary keys can have different data types for example i have taken a dictionary d string type key which has corresponding value 1 i am taking another key which is numeric type and having a numeric value now i am taking a boolean type key and again i am taking a floating type key which has the values as a list to see this let's run this code you can see that all the keys were accepted and also we have given the value as a list we have also given a value as a list corresponding to a key in a dictionary in this video we will see python dictionaries we will learn how to create dictionary with nested list creating nested dictionary adding an element in a dictionary removing an element from dictionary using delete keyword loop through all the keys inside a dictionary also loop through all the values in a dictionary let's start creating dictionary with the help of nested lists that is list containing lists inside it here i am creating a list containing lists inside it this is the outer square bracket within this i have taken three lists with the keys 1 2 and 3 and the corresponding values a b and c to convert this nested list into a dictionary i am assigning it to a variable my dict and using the keyword dict and putting the nested list within braces let's run this statement and check the value by printing my dict let's run and see the list is converted into a dictionary let us now create nested dictionary that means dictionaries inside dictionary here i am taking a dictionary my dict inside it with the key 1 taking corresponding value as a dictionary having two pairs of keys and values i am taking another key 2 inside my dict and for corresponding value i am taking another dictionary with two key value pairs let's run this cell the output shown is the dictionary which is having keys and the corresponding values as dictionaries now we are going to add elements in a dictionary to do this i am creating an empty dictionary my dict and run this cell with printing my dict you can see that my dict is an empty dictionary there is no element inside it to add an element we use the name of the element as my dict here followed by square bracket and closing with the key i'm taking zero here as a key and assign a value using equal sign followed by the value corresponding to it here i am assigning an string a which is to be assigned to this key now check the my dict it is not empty now and containing element with key zero and value a Similarly, you can add any number of key value pairs. You can add any number of key value pairs within this dictionary, but you must take unique keys. Let's run this and check the value of my dict by printing my dict. Let's run this cell. You can see there are multiple values which we have inserted in the dictionary my dict with keys 0, 1, 2, and 3 with the corresponding values a b c and d to remove an element using delete keyword write del keyword followed by dictionary name here my dict is the dictionary followed by square bracket and putting the key which needs to be deleted here i am using the key 0 pressing enter this statement will remove the element from dictionary my dict let's check the value of my dict we will see it by running this cell let's run it it has deleted the key value pair 0 
an A which is not present in the dictionary my date. Now we will see to print and loop through all the keys inside the dictionary. Here I am taking this dictionary my date with these values and keys. We will use for loop here for key in my date which is our dictionary and key is the variable and print key it will print all the keys within my date you can use any variable in place of this key it will also print all the keys let's run this you can see all the keys from dictionary my date has been printed here you can clearly see that this 0 1 2 and 3 all four keys has been printed here to print all the values we will do the same using for loop but in print statement we will put dictionary name followed by this key variable within a square bracket let's run this it will look through all the values in the dictionary let's run this you can see here all the values with the corresponding keys printed above has been listed here i hope you understand the difference it was helpful for you if you like please subscribe thanks for watching